Japan is a country full of mysticism and mystery, with a culture full of stories and legends. What not everyone knows is that most of them come from Shinto, the traditional religion of Japan. Many people think that only Buddhism is practiced in Japan, but the reality is that both religions coexist in the country, to the point of having merged in some respects. To avoid getting too long-winded, I'll start by talking about what Shinto really is. Shinto is a belief that worships entities called kami. This word is often translated as gods, but this is not quite the case. Only some kami are gods as such, while others are nature spirits or simply mischievous entities. It is often said that there are yoyorozu no kami, which means eight million of these beings, so don't expect to get to know them all. Today, the most important kami in Shinto, or Megami, as the women are often called, is Amaterasu, the sun goddess. In Japan, the emperors all Tenno are said to be her descendants. Perhaps in a future video, I will talk about the history of this deity. Leave a comment if you are interested. Let's move on to the origins of the world according to this religion. The story is very long, so I will try to summarize as much as possible. At the beginning of time, the universe was just chaos, a dense sphere of concentrated energy. Over time, the sphere could no longer hold together and separated into two parts. The lighter, purer part rose, forming the heavens, while the denser part fell and solidified, forming the earth. These two parts were joined by a bridge called Amano Okihashi. In the heavens, three entities began to originate as the first gods, with almost unpronounceable names. They were Ami no Mai Naka Nushi no Kami, Toika Mi Muzubi no Kami, and finally Kami Muzubi no Kami. They were a gender and did not show any reproductive characteristics. This group is known as Zoka Sanshin all the three creators. After that, two more deities were born out of nowhere, and the group of these five was called Koto Matsukami. For various reasons, this group decided to isolate themselves and go into hiding when new gods began to originate. These successors were called the seven generations of the gods, and they began to have certain characteristics of different sexes and form pairs with each other. The youngest couple, Azanagi and Aizanami, will be the protagonist of this story. All the kami gathered together and decided to send Aizanagi and Aizanami to leave the heavens and populate the earth. The couple accepted and received a sacred spear called Ami no Nuboko. They crossed the bridge and halfway across the bridge, they thrust the spear into the water, forming an island called Anagoro. There, they created a huge pillar where they began the ritual. They each began to walk in one direction around the pillar, and as they crossed, she went to him, speaking to him to begin the ritual. At that moment, they began to procreate and had two children, a leech child called Hiruko and an island called Awa. These children were born deformed and were not considered legitimate children of the couple and were abandoned. They returned to heaven and called a meeting with the other deities to try to find out what had happened, and were told that it was Aizanaji who should have initiated the ritual, not his wife. The kami decided to repeat the ritual on the advice of the others, and this time they succeeded. Their first child was the island of Oweji, followed by some other islands in the Japanese archipelago, Honshu, Shikoku. Kyushu, Oki, Sado, and Aiki. After them came a multitude of rivers, forests, and mountains, which gave life to the terrestrial landscape. Life was beginning to prosper on Earth, but there was one problem that drastically changed everything. When Aizanami was giving birth to Kagatsuchi, the incarnation of fire, she could not bear it and died in the flames. Aizanagi, after burying his wife on Mount Hiba, murdered Kagatsuchi in a fit of rage. Aizanagi could not bear the loss of Aizanami, so he decided to go into the Yomi 
the land of the dead, in order to rescue her and bring her back. Along the way, many events happened that I won't recount now so as not to make the video endless, but I will do it another time if this one has enough support. After returning from the underworld unsuccessfully, Aizanaji cleaned his impurities in the river. From the drops that fell from his body, new kami with great power were born. From his right eye was born Sukuyomi, god of the moon. From his nose, Suzano, the king of the sea and storms. Finally, from his left eye, Amaterasu, goddess of the sun, and the principal deity of present-day Shinto. It was from this moment that these kami were once again able to populate the earth in a prosperous way. Now that you know what this religion means and how it originated, let's finish the video by talking about the place where these kami are venerated, the Shinto shrines. If you visit Japan, it is very easy to recognize them as they always have a kind of big arches at the entrance called tori. They are usually red or orange, but there are several types. Once you cross these tori, you will enter sacred ground. They usually have huge, beautiful gardens, as well as enclosures where kami are worshipped or donations are left for the upkeep of the shrine. They are usually quite interesting to see and have a very peculiar architecture. So if you travel to the country, don't hesitate to enter one of them. And that's all I wanted to tell you today about Shinto. As some of you may know, I really like learning about the history of mythology, so I decided to start making a series about this kind of things, trying to tell you everything in a very interesting and entertaining way. If you like these videos, I would be very grateful if you would subscribe to the channel and activate the little bell. But above all, leave me in the comments your opinion and suggestions. You know I love to read it and answer whenever I can. See you in the next video.